Georgia summers are hot, so while it's fun to play outside at the park, at the beach, or just around your neighborhood, you want to make sure to stay healthy when you're out in the sun. I'm Steve from the Gwinnett County Public Library, and today we're going to learn some tips for keeping cool and protecting yourself from sun exposure. Spending time outdoors is fun and good for our bodies. When we're outside, we can be more physically active, reduce our stress levels, and the sun provides our bodies with vitamin D, which the body uses to strengthen bones, in addition to improving muscles, nerves, and the immune system. However, if we aren't careful to protect ourselves, overexposing ourselves to the sun's UV rays can also raise the risk of skin cancer. UV rays, or ultraviolet rays, are an invisible kind of radiation that comes from the sun, tanning beds, and sun lamps, and they can damage skin cells. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States and can be deadly. Anyone, no matter what your skin tone, can get skin cancer. Damage from UV rays can accumulate over a lifetime, and just 15 minutes of exposure can cause damage to your skin. UV rays can still be present even on cloudy or cool days, and they reflect off of water, cement, sand, and snow. As much as possible, try to avoid prolonged exposure to the sun because your body may not be able to uh, cool itself properly in hot temperatures. But when you are out and about, you can be proactive to beat the heat. Drink plenty of water before you go out, while you're out, and once you're back inside. Hydration is important to helping your body cool itself. While you're out... Find air-conditioned places to cool off as much as possible. Places like your local Gwinnett County Public Library branch. And while you're there cooling off, you can register for our summer reading challenge to discover oceans of possibilities. When temperatures are really high, check on your friends and neighbors who might be at high risk for heat-related illnesses, like infants, older adults, and people with chronic medical conditions. And never, ever leave kids or pets in a closed, parked vehicle. Temperatures can rise quickly in a car. And kids and pets' internal temperatures rise three to five times faster than adults. While you're outside exposed to the sun, make sure you take time to protect yourself. Stay in the shade as much as possible, whether that's under a tree, an umbrella, or some other shelter. But even when you're in the shade, be sure you're wearing sunscreen or wearing protective clothing. Speaking of protective clothing, when possible, wear clothing that covers your body, like long-sleeved shirts, long pants, or skirts, because that's your best protection from UV rays. If that's not practical, wear a t-shirt or a cover-up if you're at the beach or the pool. Clothes with a tight weave or those that are certified as offering UV protection are best. Wet t-shirts offer less protection than dry, and wearing darker colors can be better than lighter. Hats can offer great protection for your face, ears, and the back of your neck. The wider the brim, the better. Tightly woven fabrics like canvas work better than loose fabrics like straw, and again, the darker the color, the better. My favorite hat is a baseball cap, but if that's your hat of choice as well, be sure you're protecting your ears and the back of your neck either by wearing other clothing that covers those areas, using sunscreen, or staying in the shade. You can protect your eyes while also looking super cool by wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses protect your eyes from UV rays, reduce the risk of cataracts, and protect the skin around your eyes from sun exposure. Most sunglasses sold in the United States, no matter how much they cost, block UV rays. I've mentioned sunscreen several times already, and that's because it's a really important tool in your battle against sun exposure. Whenever you'll be exposed to the sun, be sure you wear sunscreen that has an SPF of 15 or higher. SPF is the measurement of how well the sunscreen blocks UV rays. Higher numbers mean more protection. SPF 15 means someone can stay in the sun 15 times longer before burning. And make sure you put it on before you go outside. Get help if you need help um, reaching certain areas like your back and pay special attention to your ears, scalp, neck, tops of your feet, and the backs of your hands. If you're out in the sun for long periods of time, reapply your sunscreen every couple of hours or after you've been swimming or toweling off. 
Finally, check the expiration date on your sunscreen because it has a shelf life of no more than three years, shorter if it's been exposed to higher temperatures. So we want to take care of our skin because even if it doesn't lead to the worst case scenario of skin cancer, we can still have short-term harm like sunburns. Sunburns are not always immediately apparent. Symptoms usually start about four hours after the sun exposure, they get worse within the first three days, and resolve in three to five days. Symptoms include red, tender, and swollen skin, blistering, headaches, fever, nausea, and fatigue. In addition to the skin, eyes can become sunburned. Sunburn eyes become red, dry, painful, and feel gritty. Chronic eye exposure can cause permanent damage, including blindness. So if you get a sunburn, what do you do? Stay out of the sun until your sunburn heals. Drink plenty of water to help replace fluid losses. Put cool cloths on sunburned areas or take a cool bath. Put moisturizing lotion on sunburned areas and take an aspirin, acetaminophen, or ibuprofen to relieve any pain, headache, and fever. If you have any blistering from your sunburn, Lightly banded to cover the area with gauze to prevent infection, and do not break the blisters. When blisters break and the skin peels, dried skin fragments may be removed and an antiseptic ointment or hydrocortisone cream may be applied. Get medical help right away if you have severe sunburns covering more than 15% of your body, you're dehydrated, you have a fever over 101 or extreme pain that persists for longer than 48 hours. Heat stroke can be the most dangerous heat-related illness because it means that your body has lost its ability to control its own temperature. Your temperature rises, you stop sweating, and your body ceases to cool down. Heat stroke can cause permanent disability or even death if emergency treatment isn't received. If you see these symptoms, maybe you have heat stroke. A high body temperature above 103, hot, dry or red skin and you're not sweating, strong rapid pulse, throbbing headache, dizziness, nausea, confusion, or passing out. If you feel like you or someone you know has heat stroke, call 911 right away because heat stroke is a medical emergency. And while you're waiting for medical professionals, move the person to a cooler place, but do not give them anything to drink. Cool the body by placing the person in a cool, but not cold, bath or shower, spraying them with a garden hose, sponging them off with cool water, or fanning. So, let's review what we've gone over. To beat the heat, you want to drink water, stay cool, check on those at high risk, and never leave kids or pets in closed, parked cars. And to protect yourself, stay under the shade, wear protective clothing, wear sunglasses, and wear sunscreen. And, of course, come by your local Gwinnett County Public Library branch to cool off and sign up for our Summer Reading Challenge. So don't be afraid of our friend the sun. Just stay smart, keep yourself safe and healthy while you're outside having a good time. Have a great summer, and thank you for watching.